I'm Brad Cole, Product Manager for Digi Remote Manager. And today we're going to talk about using Digi Transport routers and Digi Remote Manager in a critical infrastructure environment. Now in a critical infrastructure environment, you have several things that you need to consider, but today we're going to focus on three major aspects. One is intrusion detection, one is unwarranted changes to your router, and one is just logging when users access your remote site. So if you remember our discussion on secure device management in private cellular networks, we're going to use the same configuration. So for more information on that, uh, please refer back to that video. But uh, we have our transport WR31 router connected into the cellular network, which in turn connects into a web proxy that gets you out to the internet and ultimately into remote manager. So now that you have your connection, you can do things like monitor your remote site. So let's say you want to detect when somebody's trying to break into your facility. If you have sensors set up on doors or set motion sensors to detect when somebody has broken in where they don't belong, uh, you can have the WR31 notify a remote manager, which in turn sends an alert out to your enterprise management system. Now let's say somebody has broken into your router, configured it for local Wi-Fi access or local access out to the internet, and they're sitting in the parking lot and you want to know about that. You can use Remote Manager's Profile Manager feature to monitor for changes in your remote assets and alert you of those changes, as well as reconfigure it back to the way it should be. Now, let's say you just want to know when somebody accesses the router or when somebody accesses your uh, Remote Manager account, maybe in, in uh, normal use cases. Uh, there's an event log that lets you know uh, of those activities and, and when they occurred. So that's using Digi Remote Manager and Digi Transport Routers in a critical infrastructure environment.